And this was the last question. Uh, write a pair of negative integer whose reference is yeah. Hold on. Okay. Now this one you will be doing. Uh, in a quiz, a team A scored minus forty, ten, and zero, and team B scored ten, zero, and minus forty in three successive rounds. Which team scored more? Okay. Okay, you can hear me now? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, this question. Okay, question. Uh, we are doing question three or question two? Question number three. Okay. In a quiz, in a quiz team A scored uh, minus 40, 10, 0, and team B scored 10, 0, and minus 40. In three successive rounds, which team scored more? Can we say that we can add in teachers in any order? Mm. Tell me. I I don't understand the question. Okay, what they are asking, they are asking in a quiz, a team A scored minus 40, 10 and 0 and team B scored 10, 0 and minus 40 in three successive rounds. They have three rounds in first round, they scored this, second this, third this and similarly team B scored this. So you have to first tell who scored greater, like who scored more and then you have to tell whether like if you will arrange this number in any order, will you get the same answer or it will be different? Clear? Not clear? It says, can we say that we can add integers in any order? Like, I don't understand that. No, first tell me who scored greater number. Like, who scored more? Isn't it equal? I don't know. Tell it. Do it. You solve it. It can be. I'm not saying it will not. But I'm asking you to solve it. What do you got? Yeah, it's equal. Yeah, so you got minus 30? No? Yes. Right? It's the same scores. Same score. So, yes, which score, which team scored more? Ma'am, both the teams scored the same number, right? And yeah. can we say that we can add integers in any order? So, yes, ma'am, we can say that we can add integer in any order, like minus 40, 10, and 0. We can add, we can add 0, 10, and minus 40. It will be same, right? Yeah. So you can write total of uh, both the teams have the same score. Therefore, yes, we can say that the integer can be added in any order. Clear? Yeah.
Sí, sí. Okay. Fill in the blanks to make the following statements true. Minus eight plus minus five. Hmm. Okay, the first eight. one is minus five. Hmm. Second one. I'll just write it down. Okay. Minus fifty three plus zero. Mm -hmm. Seventeen. Seventeen plus in brackets minus seventeen and thirteen plus. Okay, one plus. Okay, uh, thirteen uh, equals to five. Hmm. Here yeah, five. Yeah. Why? You have 13 minus 12 here as well. Here as well, 13 minus 12. What is here? Hmm? Uh, over here it is uh, 5. 13 plus 5. So over here. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Hmm. Tell me, tell me. Uh, yeah, I don't know the answer to this question. Why? 13 minus 12 will be 1. Here, 13 minus 12 will be 1. Right? No, it's not 13 minus 12. We first solved the brackets, so it will be yes. uh, hmm. 5. But, no, 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 no. You will get the answer. But... Over here, what you need to add, you just need to fill in the blanks. You don't need to exactly write the accurate answer. Hmm? You will, what you will get? You will get minus 6, no? No? Yeah. You are not getting what I'm telling you? Tell me, tell me. See, wait a minute. Why you, how you are saying that, ma'am, I will get five? Uh, because in the bracket, 13 plus hmm. uh, minus 12 plus 7, that is fine. It is bracket, na. This is a bracket, though. But you will solve the bracket. You will open the bracket and will plus minus minus only. Right? And here also it will be like this. The 13 minus this will be 1 minus 7 minus 6. Yes? 
or no? Tell me, is it wrong? Why you are getting confused? The see in case if there is a bracket like this now, for example, four plus six. In this situation, you change the sign, but not in this situation. The bracket, this uh, minus is not outside the bracket. You will simply open the bracket, and these sign will be merged. Like plus minus will be minus, and here also plus minus will be minus. It will be thirteen minus twelve minus seven, and thirteen minus twelve is one. One minus seven is minus six. Clear? Ah, yes. Okay. No, not clear. It is clear. Then what? What? Sure. I think you are confused. Why you are confused? I don't know how, what to put in the bracket, the empty bracket. Where is the empty bracket? <laughs> this one. Okay. See what you got. Once you will solve this, you will get my. Uh, you will get plus one. Yeah. Here the solution is minus six, right? Yes. In this plus one, what should I do? That I should get minus six. Obviously, only minus seven. Yes. Uh. Here, see, it was thirteen here, minus twelve here, thirteen here, minus twelve here. Only minus seven was missing. You need to put minus seven here. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now the next one. Next one. Tell me. Okay, eleven minus three. See, in this question, what you have? Okay, to I understand this one. So this the answer is minus three. Yes. In this question, what you have to do? See, for example, a plus b minus c is there. Right, and over here mm -hmm. I have written a plus b dash. So what will come? A is there, b is there. Only minus c is missing. I will put minus c. Yeah. Yeah. So similar. Yeah, I got this question now. Yes. Now you understood. Yes. Okay. Final. Okay. Now this is the situation. Ah, uh, one point three basically. You have to find the product of the following. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. see when we were solving the question, like four plus three. So it was like plus. Now look at the screen. Yes. Okay, you are looking plus minus minus, right? So your answer is minus one, right? But in multiplication, for example, if it is this, you will multiply four multiply by three is twelve. You will get negative twelve. Okay. You will simply put the sign. But in case if it is minus four multiply by minus three, then the answer will be twelve. But minus minus plus. Clear. So in multiplication, what you have to do, you have to multiply it, okay, and then you have to check the sign. Over here, the plus sign is this plus minus minus. So which sign you will put in the answer? Minus sign. Minus. Clear. Yeah. Okay. So start doing it. The first one is minus three. The second one is minus two fifty five. Hmm. Now you have lot of questions.
Mom, how do we do E? E? Hmm? First, multiply these two. Whatever answer you get, multiply that with this. So the answer will be zero. Yes. Okay, it's uh, minus 1320. No, F, F. Yeah. F is minus 1320. Solve all the questions yeah. then we this. Okay.
Okay, uh, the answer, okay. Done? Yes. Okay. I just saw Ibrahim and I was like, Ibrahim is sitting like this. What happened? Okay. So the, for the first one is minus 3. B is minus 2 to 5. Tell, tell me yes or no. Okay, minus, uh, minus, uh, 3 is minus 6, 3. Mm -hmm. uh, no, uh, G is minus 6, 3, 0. D is 3, 1, 6. E is 0. F is minus 1, 3, 2, 0. Uh, Why is minus? One... Nice. Okay. So, mm -hmm. uh, D is minus 1, 4, 1, mm -hmm. 40. H no. is 3, 16. D, D is wrong. G is wrong. Do it again. Check what you did.
Is the one C two? Yes. H. So H is three sixty. I is twenty four. J is H is not three sixty. What is the sign? Answer is correct. The sign is not correct. It's three sixty. That means it's positive, but it is not positive. But there, are, there, are, there is minus. All three of them are minus. Minus uh, adds up to positive. Hmm. What happened? Minus adds up to uh, positive. Yes. So see, minus minus minus. We have three minus. So minus minus will plus, and plus minus will be minus. So it will be minus. Minus three sixty. Okay. Hmm. I. I I. No, twenty four. I is twenty four. Hmm. J is thirty six. Okay, good. Now coming to the next one, you have to verify the following. Okay, you have to verify and you have to tell whether the left hand side is equal to right hand side or not. Okay. Clear. Okay. Uh. Eighteen multiplied by seven minus three. Eighteen multiplied by seven. Eighteen for the nineteen. Okay, one twenty six. Okay, one twenty three. Uh, no, left hand side is not equal to right hand side for A. Um. Okay, for A, or uh, left hand side is not equal to right hand side. No. Why like this? Let's do it again. Eighteen. <laughs> How you are doing it? When you solve this one, okay, what you got? When I solved this one, it was one twenty three. <gasps> How? Looking multiplied by uh, seven, that is one twenty. There is three multiplied. Wait. For example, eighteen multiplied by seven plus minus three, right? Yes. First, you will solve the bracket. Solve the bracket. What you will get? Uh, uh, four. Solve the bracket. This bracket. Tell me, and what you got? Four. Four. Right. Four. So eighteen multiplied by four. 
Tell me. Eighteen fours are. Uh, eighty two. Seventy two. Yes. So you got seventy two. So from where you got one hundred something? I multiplied by seven, then or uh, minus three. Hmm. Now what you will do? First you will multiply this. First you will solve this bracket. First you will solve this bracket. Whatever answer you get here, whatever answer you get here, you will add them. Okay. Uh, okay, fifty. One twenty six plus minus fifty four. You can solve in your notebook. You have your notebook now. All right. What? You can solve it in your notebook. Huh? You can solve it in your notebook. That will be easy for you. Okay, left hand side and right hand side are equal. Okay, now next one I think you can do. Okay, do it please, do it correctly. Yeah, I'll just write in my notebook. Minus ten. Minus one hundred by minus one hundred. Minus ten multiplied by minus ten. Minus ten multiplied by minus twenty one. Okay, both of the sides are equal only. Both the sides are equal? Yes. Yes. Okay, so hence very fine. Okay. Okay. Now next one. For any integer, what is minus 1 multiplied by is uh, equal to? Minus one multiplied by a minus a. Yes. Right. For any integer who will be multiplying this, that will be minus a, right? Okay. Yeah. Now this starting from minus one and multiply by five, right? Various products showing same pattern to show this. So I think you can do it like this: minus five multiplied by minus one, minus four, anything. If you will multiply any number with minus one, you will get the number, same number. But it will be a negative number. Clear? Yes. Hmm. Find the... No, no. Yeah, this one. Find the product using suitable properties. You know the properties? Yes or no? No? What does it mean by suitable properties? Hmm. Proper. You have different properties, not distributive property, cumulative property. Yes, no. Oh, I didn't know about that. Okay. So I'm just telling you one property right now because we are running out of time. Right? Because I have one more class, but I'm just telling you one property which is distributive property. Okay. So mm -hmm. see, this is the question. 
right? Uh, this 26 multiplied by minus 48 plus minus 48 multiplied by minus 36. So in the distributive property, basically, you have to find something common. In this, what is repeating? Minus 48 is repeating? Yes. yes. So what you will do, you will take it common. Right? It will, yeah, it will become plus 48. It will come outside now, it will be 26, right? Yes. Plus minus 36. Now you can solve it. Okay. So for the first one, solve it and tell me the answer. No, uh, ma'am, why isn't it, uh, why, I think it should be positive. Sorry? Uh, go on. The one you did, yeah, this one. Hmm. Shouldn't it be uh, plus 48 in the one you wrote? This one? Yeah, it should be plus right. 48. Right. Because uh, minus 48 plus minus 48, uh, it's, it's the same integer. You are not multiplying it, you are taking common. See, for example, it's A plus B plus, for here also it is A plus C. What is common in these two? This is one part, this is other part. What is common? Minus A, a minus no. A. So, you will take common as these and you will take this B plus C. Clear? Okay. Hmm? So it was minus. In case if it is not minus, then you will take 48 only. But both sides, it was minus only. You are not multiplying it. You are taking common. Clear? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Oh, no. I don't get it. Why? Because I don't get it. What you did? Minus 48 multiplied by 26 plus minus 36. Yes. Minus 48 multiplied by 26 minus 36. Yes. Uh, 26 multiplied by 36 is 10 minus 10. Yes or not? Yes. No. Then 48 multiplied by this is 480 minus minus plus 480. What happened? Oh, okay. What happened? No, I was just, I, could, I didn't just, I before I didn't understand, like, uh, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> okay, okay, no problem. Okay, B1. I mean, let me just give you something else. Hmm. E1, this. What should I do now? Yeah, you should do this one. What is common here? EU. Hmm? Okay, in E, uh, 
minus 625 is 625. Yes. Over here, this minus, you will solve it. So it will be 625 multiplied by minus 35 minus 625 multiplied by 65, right? So this minus is between minus. So you will take 625 common. Okay. 625 common. And what is uh, left inside? Uh, it's positive and negative. Positive. Why negative? The 625 at the starting, it's uh, positive. But positive. the one but in the back many, is yeah. negative. See, these two are in one group. These two are in one group. Right? Mm -hmm. Once you can solve it, it will become negative. And this sign will lost. It will be negative. Right? Yeah. So, 625 is also positive. This one is also positive. So, you will take the positive one. Okay. What? Hold on. You didn't get? Okay. Now listen to it very carefully. In the first one, both were negative, right? So it was very obvious you will take negative, right? Yeah. But in this one, both are not negative, right? So what you yes. will do, you will simplify it and it will be 625 multiplied by minus 35 minus 625 multiplied by 65. Like these two are pair now and these two are pair now. Okay, so both are positive. Yes. Yes or no? Yes? Yeah. Okay. So, you will take 625 common. Now, what is left? Minus 35 minus 65. Yes? Yeah. Then, I think you can solve it now. Yes or no? No? Okay. Yeah, I can. It's minus 100. It's minus 100. It's minus? Minus 100. After solving this, you are getting minus 100? Yeah. yeah. After solving the bracket, you are getting minus 100, right? No? Yeah. So. And so then multiply it. Minus 625. Yes. Minus 625. Hmm? Minus 600. Yeah, minus 625,000. Yes. Right? It's not only 625. Okay, so quickly write down in your notebook. Oh, it's just Okay. 